Hi, welcome back. This is Sumedha, an Indian yoga girl. Today we are going to do a yin practice just for the legs. We are going to work on hips, hamstrings, calf muscles, uh, IT band and glutes. So let's get started. What we need in today's class is one booster, two blocks, a strap and if you have a blanket. All right. Let's come into any comfortable sitting position. I'm sitting onto the block just basically it automatically lifts the spine up. I'm trying to open my hips from that area. Shoulders are relaxed and down, lifting the spine up. Let's come into any comfortable sitting position. Let the body be soft. The shoulders rolling back and down, the spine lifting little bit up, the chin is either parallel or a little bit down. Face is kind of relaxed. Try to relax the jaws, relaxing the cheeks, eyes, eyebrows, back of your eyes. Relaxing your forehead, lips touching to touching each other, but you are not clenching it. Giving a gentle pressure from your sitting bones towards the earth or to the block. Feel the connection of your hips and the sitting bones and the ground, having those grounding qualities bringing those grounding qualities inside you while you are still aiming for energies to get little higher. Breathe softer and smoother. How is the breath doing today? Is this breath going to all the body parts? After scanning, have those soft, smooth, rhythmic breath. Eyes can still be closed while you are observing. Softer, smoother, deeper, longer breaths. Exhale wherever we are. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose all the way up till the crown of your head. Pause over there for a bit and empty the lungs out completely. Inhale again all the way up. Pause. And exhale, empty out completely. Few more deep breaths in and out. Maybe the count of four or five at your own pace. And slowly dropping your right ear towards the right side of the shoulder. Neck is as soft as possible. Feel the stretch from the left side. Soft breathing in, soft breathing out. Let the neck comes even more down, little by little. Feel those little tingling sensations, maybe. Be 
inhale very very softly come back to the center as you exhale bring the neck towards the left side the ear going towards the left shoulders both of the shoulders are still soft and down Inhale, come back very softly to the center. Then drop the head back. Maybe sway a little side to side. There will be sometimes a little sensation, little bit pain. Give a little bit weight right to side, lifting the chin up. Then drop the chin down, chin towards the chest. Some yogis likes to have an ujjayi breath, an oceanic breath, maybe any kind of breath. Explore. There will be a little bit of blockage in towards the throat area. as the chin is having towards the chest we're having a little bandha lock inhale come back to the center eyes can still be closed a little bit open if you're sitting on to the block please take that block out those uh, booster please bring that little bit in between and lie down into a butterfly position So lie down into the butterfly position. If you have those blocks, please have those blocks towards you. We are bringing the heels onto that booster, slowly bringing the elbows down, and then lying down here. You can use those blocks underneath your knees into this reclined butterfly position. Maybe a small light blanket. on to a back for the neck maybe maybe not let the heels be on to the block or to the booster side of the knees are also supported by the block we will be here in for 3 minutes Completely rest into this butterfly position. The palms are facing up towards the ceiling. Fingertips are naturally curled in. Let the shoulders be soft. Let the stomach be as soft as possible, and let the knees fall down by itself. Feel both of the hips. Hips needs to be square. And try to relax all the body parts of yours. stomach contracting as you exhale
be here for a few more breaths. Maybe you can take that block out and let the knees fall even more down. Outer rotation of the hips, the knees falling down, the shoulders are softly coming down. towards the growing muscles, inner thighs, as they are trying to open up as well. From there, slowly, pretty slowly, bring both of the knees together. Maybe slide that poster a little back. Bring the soles of the foot down and open the legs, the soles of the foot are towards the edge of the mat and bring both of the knees inside. This time internal rotation of the knees. The soles of the foot are out towards the mat and the knees are trying to come inside. We'll be here only for a minute. The minute itself focus here on little bit onto that core the inner legs, try to soften it up, try not to lift the hips, but pressing your sacrum, let the inner thighs be together, the knees touching each other. towards the chest, interlock the fingers, place that interlock fingers onto the shin bones and let the right leg comes closer towards you. We call this as a half Pavanottasana as well, a half wind relieving pose while the right knee is trying to come closer towards the chest, massaging your stomach Massaging internal organs of yours. Every exhale, maybe giving a gentle pressure from your hands to the shin bones, the knees coming in. You can make your left leg straight, maybe onto that poster or maybe just like straight. And the right knee is still close towards the chest. From there, slowly lift the leg up, lift the soles of the foot up. Bring the hands from the inside or outside, placing it onto the balls of the foot. The right knee is coming a little bit out towards that shoulders and coming into, we so call it as happy child pose 
or a lying down dragon pose. We will be here for three minutes. You can bend the left knee if you want or maybe straighten up your leg. This is a reclined dragon pose. The heels are a little bit away. The knees are a little bit open towards the right side of the shoulder. Make sure both of the hips are kind of square. You are not lifting the left hip up. There may be a little strain onto the hands while you are holding the leg or onto the shoulders, maybe onto the knees. But try to relax as much as you can. Maybe the face can be relaxed. Stomach can be soft and relaxed. The chest and the legs can also be softened up. Eyes can be closed or maybe softly looking up. But let the eyes be relaxed if you can by softly closing it. One and a half minutes are done. One and a half minutes are remaining. Let those one and a half minutes be as soft, as smooth, as relaxing as possible. seconds. Shoulders are soft. Shoulders are relaxed. Longer, deeper breaths in. Longer, deeper breaths out. From there, slowly bring the knees back again inside. Interlocking that fingers, bringing the knees again close towards the chest. From there, we are straightening our legs. If you have a strap, please take that strap, place it onto the soles of the foot or the balls of the foot and make the legs straight. Or maybe simply placing the hands onto the balls of the foot. And as you exhale, very, very softly, try to make the leg as straight as possible. Again, just a reminder, the left knee can be folded or the left leg can be straight based on how you are feeling. If you have the long legs, you can, long hands, you can hold the sides of the foot or maybe use that strap. Please make sure both of the hips are square. You are not lifting one side of the hip up. We are working here on the IT band. We are working here onto the back of the legs. The hamstrings here. And the left side of the glutes as well. Maybe flexing the foot a little bit. The hips are square. We are here for three more minutes. 
with generous relax a little bit towards the chest hands are kind of soft if you are holding that strap maybe the strap can be equal sided and the shoulders can be down few more seconds here thirty more seconds trying to soften it up trying to let go trying to make the leg as soft straightening up of the legs if you are holding that strap from there please hold it from the left hand hold the strap from the left hand the right hand can be down the palms can face up or palms can face down and we are crossing our right leg towards the left side very gently twisting the spine as softly as possible you can use that block maybe over the left side so that you can have the leg onto that prop please do not over strain it just take the moment as soft as possible twisting that spine rolling it by shoulders being soft the head can be made up looking towards the ceiling or maybe twisting looking towards the right or maybe eyes can be closed we are here again for this 3 minutes to an a half minutes are done let the shoulders sink down softly smoothly let the twist in the spine happens and takes all the excessive care vata from back of the spine out maybe some yogis have those pops coming up from the spine it's a great pose for the lower back pain for the runners hikers bikers try to soften and relax into the pose the breath rising up breath going down into the spinal twist the breath cannot be little longer but maybe a little shorter as the thighs getting a little pressure on to the lower stomach very softly coming back down bending this knee 
can bring the snake close towards the chest. Interlock the fingers, bring the knees close. Hug it tight. Stay for a few more breaths by you hugging a little bit more tight, feeling it onto the sacrum. And from here, slowly bend your left leg again. Bring the left leg folded. The right heel is on top of the left leg into the four figure shape. We so call it as a pigeon legs as well. Stay over there while your right knee is trying to go into the opposite direction away. You are opening your inner thighs and the groin muscles here. And then slowly bring your hands inside, thread needle your arms. Maybe hold the thighs or if your hands are long, maybe holding the shin bones. Setting an alarm for three minutes here. Breathe towards the right side of your hips. Some yogis feel it into the inner thighs. Some yogis feel it onto the outer thighs and the hips. Maybe giving a gentle pressure from the fingers and bring the left knee even more closer. to have the shoulders as relaxed, face as relaxed as possible. While breathing smoothly. Some yogis like to have a little variation, maybe the hands onto the thighs and they can lift the left leg up. Since we are onto the halfway, maybe you can bring the leg up or maybe not. Wherever you feel, little more sensations, we have 50 more seconds here. I got, I get more sensations when I'm folding my shin bones and right knee is going away. From there slowly bring the hands on thread Bring the legs down, unwrap the legs, come to that constructive rest. Again, open the legs to the mat distance. And from there, wiggle both of the knees to one side, like a windshield. Inhale, come back, change both of the knees, maybe towards the left side. Oh, 
One more time, change both sides, bring both of the knees to the right, twisting, preparing ourselves to go to, to the second left side very soon. But before that, twisting side to side. Inhale, come back, bring both of the knees to the left. chest interlock the fingers bring the knees coming more close the left knees are coming more towards the chest the right knee can be folded or the right knee can be straight the left side of the stomach giving a gentle pressure the shoulders are relaxed if the right leg is straight try the leg to be down the hips are kind of down Dragon pose. Beautiful. And from there slowly lift the soles of the foot up. Hands can be down or maybe use the strap. Hold the strap or maybe the hands from the inside. Bring the knees a little towards the shoulders, heels a little away. Your right hand can be onto the groin muscles of the right side or maybe if the leg is straight, trying to push the thighs. It takes a while to settle down. Try to have both hips completely down into the square position. And take the one, take your own time. We will be here for three minutes. Let the silence comes from inside out, from within this pose. shoulders to be relaxed, face, jaws, 
Tamam. Next. breaths here, breathing in, breathing out, and from there slowly take the hands out, bring the knees towards the chest, bring the hands and lock the fingers, let the knees come close to the chest. <sighs> Hug them tight. And from there, maybe use that strap, place the strap onto the soles of the foot, or maybe play hands holding towards the sides or like a big two from the two piece fingers like a big toe holding kind of a lying down Pada Vishtana Sana we called it as the thighs are straight the back of the legs are straight the other leg the right leg can be folded or straight again it's a reminder both of the hips are kind of square you are not leaning to one side. Both of the hips are kind of in, in line with each other. You are feeling it onto the IT band. Some of them feel the inside legs. Some of them feel onto the thighs as well. Every exhale you are trying to bring this leg close towards the chest. are soft. Feel those sensations arising from that hips, from that hamstring. You're trying to straighten that up. those sensations may be from there hold it from the right strap let the left hand be soft maybe the 
palms facing up and as slowly as possible bring the leg over towards the right thigh and dropping as softly as possible towards the right please take that time into that twisting pose let the face be up or towards the left the shoulders trying to settle down maybe the right knee is little folded relaxing the parts which are not using the right knees face and let the shoulders be as soft to melt even more deeper down shoulders and the chest as you inhale maybe the sides of the rib cage expanding and contracting very very slowly bend your knees slowly turn back hug the knee again bring that knee close to the chest bending your right knee placing the left heel on top of the right leg into this four figure shape letting the shoulders be relaxed trying to bring the left knee outside away from you there slowly bring the hands thread needle under your thighs or if you have those long hands maybe under your shin bones over your shin bones try to have both of the hips and the sacrum pressing by the right knee is trying to come up closer towards you notice how one side is so different than the other side Feeling 
the sensations onto the left glutes, left hips, taking those tensions out. Again, if you want to have legs as straight, to have a little variation, you can use the hands onto the back of the thighs and you can lift the right leg all the way up. And from there, bring the hands down, unwrap your legs, open up the legs to the mat distance, bring both of the knees towards the left side first, twisting like a windshield wiper. Let the knees be as soft and your twisting melting down. Inhale, come back and change the sides. Bring both of the knees to the right. Inhale, come back one more time, change to the left. Feel the right knee coming, melting even more down. Slowly come back to the center. We're coming into a supported bridge pose. If you have that poster, maybe place underneath the sacrum. If you have that block, place that underneath the sacrum. Bringing the heels a little closer. Lifting the sacrum up, spine up. Let the stomach coming up. Scooping that block or the poster underneath your sacrum, that triangle shaped pull. Okay. Fingertips placing up towards the ceiling and giving a pressure onto the block or the post.
you may choose to be here or you may choose to be into a sleeping but a white position you may choose to be on to the blog or you may choose to be taking out that blog and just simply be into the butterfly position before our last pose cards pose I am right now into the same block just opening my knees bringing the knees down into the sleeping butterfly pose Feel that as a new book is opening, every page is opening wider. Knees falling down. bringing both of the knees together if you are into the butterfly position if you are onto the block maybe bringing the heels little closer lifting very slowly your sacrum up taking that block away one vertebra by one vertebra coming down then bringing both of the knees close towards the chest hug them tight both of the knees this time is coming close to the chest you can sway side to side relaxing massaging your lower back or maybe hugging them even more tight and then slowly bring straight and down land into any comfortable sleeping corpse pose maybe you can have those posters underneath your calf muscles to have a little lift hands are open slightly relaxed not slightly relaxed slightly closed and fully relaxed chin towards the chest be having the corpse pose hardest pose you quieting your mind quieting everything
your physical body, wiggling your fingers and your toes. You may choose to be here, or you may choose to turn towards one of your sides. Slowly pressing your hands and slowly making your way to come into any comfortable position. You may choose to be in Tushabhasana or choose to be into a sitting position. Bringing the hands into a prayer position, Namaskara Mitra. We'll be chanting one poem, taking a deep breath in. Rubbing your palms, generating a nice heat. Placing them on towards your eyes in a cup shape. And with a few blinks, slowly open up. Look at the palm. Give positive energy to yourself. Thank you so much for watching and sharing your beautiful energies with me. If you enjoy this video, give a thumbs up and don't forget to click that subscribe button to make sure you stay up to date in all our new yoga and workout classes. See you. Thank you so much. Namaste.